sit on public tender, that was going to happen anyway, and then create a structure so that the company anymore, create an internal structure so that uh, there is the company gets out of the stock market and there is no profit involved. So whenever there is uh, some excess money created through um, invoicing, it will go back to inversions to the public company, or it will go towards making water accessible to more people, or making water uh, cheaper. That is the initial plan, and we said, how shall we do this? The first idea that came to mind was, okay, let's all put uh, some money. How, how many are we here? To, to lead you. So what do we need? We need to divide the estimated value of the water company by the number of water meters in the city. This was, uh, this result uh, was 136 euros per That's why it was called initially 136. One and a half year after, now, we're facing the imminent uh, privatization of the water company and we haven't been able to get together this money. Of course, because the, um, there is poverty in this, like now people cannot uh, uh, keep this money. And also because uh, many people prefer to have this company public, although they know that this cannot happen anymore, they insist on saying that we need final stage of the struggle, and we are uh, trying to find this money anyway. We're trying to we're in contact with uh, financial organizations that uh, have some ethical standards that uh, uh, will not charge us too much interest in order to be able to carry on with uh, this plan. Uh, I don't know how many chances there are that we're going to go through, but we're going to, to fight to the end of this struggle. At the same time, we're forming a front against privatization. So if we manage to stop privatization, it's okay with that. We're not obsessed with making it social. But if the company is to be privatized, we need it to pass the citizen's hands. This is one issue. The, the, the other issue is that part of all this neoliberal restructuring is uh, that the extractivist uh, companies have ended greed in a way that is unprecedented in a way that we can only see that in uh, America so far. So the starting mega project of uh, extractivism, the starting mega uh, project of gold mining, that uh, the, right now they're trying to build the biggest open air the whole of Europe, right uh, 50 kilometers away from uh, my hometown. This will destroy a um, huge uh, forest, a virgin forest. This will poison the water because they use all the water resources of the area in order to extract the gold out of And they also use uh, cyanide and many different poisons, which will be returned to the natural medium. So there is a huge movement against this right now, but also the movement is trying to then uh, to, to, to both creating jobs, creating development, discussing and it all gives us economic development. We know that this is not true because these jobs are going to last 10 years. And then after 10 years, they're going to migrate from It's going to be poor. <coughs> so these issues are interconnected. It's about water also, the mining operation. So there's a huge movement. Uh, developing around this as well. And recently we have managed to make a huge march, several uh, thousand people in the Thessaloniki. And this has had some impact, impact on the media abroad. So what we're not now trying to do right now is make connections with the Canadians. Why the Canadians? Because the Canadian company, El Dorado Gold. And uh, we're trying to find a way to uh, organize short, mid, medium term, an international protest against El Dorado Gold in conjunction with the Canadians who could protest on the company offices in, in the uh, mining site 
where the protests are violently repressed, get severely injured people there, maybe people are, are tear gas and uh, uh, shot with uh, rubber bullets in every demonstration there. There is a, a police regime in the surrounding villages, people control every movement. Even students are abducted from the school and uh, uh, taken to the police uh, station in order to interrogate them on what their parents have been doing. So we're talking about police state. Right? So it's DNA some violation around the mining city. Without their consent. So we have to make all this visible. And uh, in order to do this, we need the participation of the international movement. We need all the rest of the uh, people that are struggling against gold mining in general, El Dorado Gold especially.